Hey guys, how's it going? This is Cyber Saloon. So today we're going to be going over Don Mashi Season 3, Episode 1, or Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon Season 3, Episode 1. I'm really excited this one's back. It's definitely one of my favorite anime for sure. Thankfully we didn't have to wait too long between Seasons 2 and 3. Um, I love this anime. It's it's just, it's really fun. I love the characters, but what draws me into this one like, is especially the world. I've always thought the idea of Don Machi is really cool. Um, you have all these gods and goddesses, and you basically, they, they all try to like achieve glory for them. Um, so I'm really glad it's back. We start out the episode off with Hestia giving a monologue that humans and monsters have always been at odds with one another, because monsters have always generally been pretty predatory towards humans. And um, over this monologue, we see Ween running away from a group of adventurers that are trying to kill her. Her monster species is called a Vorvir, I believe, if I pronounced it right. So she's running away, and thankfully Belle finds her first. And then um, Belle's about ready to attack her as well, up until the part where um, he notices that there, she's, there's intelligence there, and there's also consciousness there, because she's she's afraid of, you know, she's fearing for her life. And... Um, you see this phoenix monster try to um, cook them both alive, and then Bell protects her, and of course kills the monster. And then Bell disguises Ween as, a, as like a member of his party. And then you see the ass hat parade kind of come through, like where's she at? And then um, Bell just says, "Oh, she went off this way." And then like they refuse to give him medicine because like he he says, "Oh, like my party members are," but they're like, "That's not our problem." So we see Bell's party come up, which is Welf, Lily, and uh, Mikito, and they're all ready to kill Ween because it's a monster. They've never seen something like this before, and so they're ready to just completely cut her down and um, get rid of her. But Bell, of course, um, reasons with them no, like we need to take her back to the um, to the mansion and try, kind of talk to Hesty about this. And then we see um, we see Oranos. Um, kind of explain, like, be told that, like, they're taking, um, like, a monster back to the, um, uh, back to Hestia, um, so I'm kind of excited to see what happens in that storyline, because I've always thought he was an interesting character, him and Gels, so, yeah, we, they, we get a little brief, um, scene with those two, and then, of course, because JC staff loves Hestia, we get a, we get a, a big Hestia titty shot as soon as we see Hestia, because, we didn't expect any different, and we're not complaining. So as soon after that, Hesty is kind of dumbfounded as well. I expected her to be a little bit more reluctant than she was, just because um, Hestia and the gods are the uh, gods and goddesses are the ones who made the dungeon. I would expect them that they would have known about something like this, or that Hestia might have been a little bit more reluctant, just because monsters are generally pretty hostile. But she notices, kind of like Bell does, that there's something. Um, a little bit different about Ween. And of course, this is where they give Ween her name in the first place. But Hestia kind of um, give, tells Welf, Lily, and everyone to try to go out and ask questions, but be careful who you ask, just because they don't, she doesn't want to attract too much attention um, to this, because she, knows she doesn't want a bunch of adventurers showing up to the mansion to try to kill Ween. So um, she asks Hephaestus if she's seen anything like this. And you see Welf um, and everyone else kind of go out and just ask if they've ever seen a monster that um, is conscious and that um, shows sign of intelligence and like where they know what's going on. And um, we see Lily go into a bar to try to ask, like uh, disguised of course as an elf, to try to see um, if like there's any bar rumors going around. And we get um, someone from Hermes party that shows up. Um, that kind of gives an information that someone's looking for, like a monster kind of. Um, not so much similar, but there is like a there there's like like rumors going around that there is some monster that's um, kind of similar. They're where they're kind of conscious, but you know, not exactly the same as Ween, of course. So we get this <laughs> Ween, of course, is adorable. That that doesn't need to be said. But we see a, a funny scene with uh, Bell, um, Harahime, and um, Bell. I mean Ween where they're all like having a picnic and Harahime is kind of like a mother figure of course to Ween and Hestia kind of points this out later during the episode but we see Ween's like she has these super sharp claws that can easily like cut through flesh and she, she tries to hug Belle and it just like just uh, she just um, gores him like his arm with her nails of course by accident and we see that she's obviously freaked out by this um, and then Harahime goes to like, try to get some like a uh, ointment or something to try to heal it but we see that um bell does the right thing and he, he tries to calm her down like hey it's not that big of a problem 
I was, at first, I, was, I had, like, a dumb idea. I thought that they were going to put, like, gauntlets or get, like, kind of specially made gloves for her. Um, but, of course, it made more sense just to file her nails down. So I was like, oh, you know, that I guess that works, too. Um, so after that, we see that <laughs> we get, like, a scene of um, Hestia, Haruhime, um, Lily, uh, Mikito, and... Um, Ween in the hot tub and <laughs> Ween's like well why can't Bell come in here and then Lily has to explain well because Bell's a dude and then <laughs> Lily makes a comment about how um, Hestia and Harhime were a little bit better filled out than she is which I thought was really funny and then um, we see Ween go and try to hug Bell and he, she obviously like kind of like, like just probably gores him again um, poor guy but after that, you kind of see it. We get a scene where it's obvious that Haruhime especially is very attached to um, Ween. Uh, she's, kind of, she's obviously like a mother figure to her. And then um, we see Mi uh, Mikito is kind of the same way to where she realizes she's she's a monster, but she's you know she's very different. And Lily and Wealth kind of have a similar conversation. And after that, we see Ween, Hestia, and Belle that are sleeping in the same bed together. Um, we see Ween kind of get this description of a dream that like constantly comes to her where she's what she's supposed to be like I imagine that like the dream in which she's describing and the form that you see in the dream where she's just this crazy powerful monster that's just butchering people left and right that's probably what she's supposed to be um, I imagine that's what other boy beers are actually like where they just hunt down and kill people like crazy and they're very powerful um, and she explains this dream and where she feels like yeah, like um, she's cold and feels like an empty kind of shell. Um, and she kind of describes this nightmare to Belle. And Hestia, she can see she's pretty upset. And obviously Ween's pretty upset because she doesn't want this to be their, her fate. Because she's obviously grown very attached to Belle and her his whole group. But you see Hestia like kind of have a sad look. I don't know. It's just because she's like, it's sad that she thinks um, that Ween is having this vision. But I think it's more so that Hestia knows that this is probably something that she's going to become one way or another, maybe. So, and then we see at the end, um, Hermes' party, of course, and then we see that chick that um, Lily was talking to in the bar kind of says, hey, like there's a kid asking about information about um, like a monster that shows like signs of intelligence. And that's kind of where it ends off. So I'm pretty excited to see where the season goes. Again, I'm glad it's back. Um, I'm a big fan of the show. I, I just think the world itself is really cool, and I love the characters. Welf is my favorite, but I, there's not like a character in the show I dislike. <laughs> I know everyone hates Hestia, but I actually don't mind her at all. Um, based on the kind of like the a couple of the images we've seen like before the season's off, some of its, vigi uh, its, its visuals, we see that Eyes um, and Bell are probably going to definitely come in conflict, um, which isn't too surprising um, given Eyes' past that we've got hints about um, concerning monsters so I'm pretty excited to see where it goes from here um, loved the episode thought Ween was adorable I thought it had some good moments throughout it um, I love Hermes so I hope we get more Hermes and Eyes this season because I love both of them so I'm pretty excited to see where the season goes and um, I'll see you guys in the next one and let me know what you think in the comments below and thanks for watching